Hi, my name is John Barnes. I'm a senior studying nutrition and dietetics at SLU, and I'm gonna be making apple fritters. The, and it goes well, it goes, ties into my food philosophy. I believe food is something you should experience with your family, group setting versus convenience and fast food. And the perfect time of the year that I think this matches to is Thanksgiving. Uh, all my family comes together, and my family has some really picky eaters. Uh, my sister only eats carbs and cheese. That's it. And so we had to find something that we could eat together. It'd be fun that everyone could join together, and it'd be delicious. So we're making apple fritters. First thing you want to do is get your batter, and that's going to take one and one fourth cup of AP flour. You can kind of get this anywhere. Doesn't matter if there's lumps, you'll be fine. Um, fourth of a cup of sugar, technically you need a uh, three fourths of a cup, but the other half of the cup goes towards the ending. So one fourth cup of sugar, one and one half teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder, and a half of a teaspoon of salt. You're going to want to mix that together until it's all kind of distributed evenly. It kind of looks like a light brown flouring mixture. Kind of together. So next you want to add your wet ingredients. And then you're going to need three-fourths of a cup of sparkling water. That can be kind of any generic. I just got aqua for now. Uh, you want a half a cup of buttermilk. Low fat, regular fat, doesn't matter. Um, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna whisk that together until it comes to a uh, consistent kind of like liquid batter. Doesn't need to be too form, you can't really over mix it. So as soon as it comes together and doesn't look any lumpy, you're fine. And then you're gonna set this aside for about 15 minutes. Next one we want to the apples. You want to do three firm cut apples. I like Granny Smith. They're sweet. Everybody loves them. So you're going to core them and you're going to peel it. There's multiple ways you can cut this depending on how you want to serve it. You can cut it like this and get a donut shape, which is what we're going to do today. You can cut it like this and get slices, for like finger food, or you can uh, Dice it up, and then when you put in the batter, they become little clusters of apples. And it looks like little, tiny little fritters that you'd see like at a carnival. For now, we're gonna do these donuts. And so, I once you've cut them, you wanna put them on a, you wanna put them on some uh, paper towels so you can soak it up so it's better for frying and they're not all watered down the circles. And then I already have some batter that's been rested for 15 minutes. And it just looks all together. It's kind of shiny. And we're gonna go to our oil. The oil you should have. It really doesn't matter what kind of oil you want to stay between. Like you have canola oil, you can have vegetable oils, um, olive oil. Right now I'm using half olive oil, half uh, vegetable oil. And you want to get that up to 375-ish. But and you can use a thermometer. If you don't have a thermometer, you can take a piece of bread, and if it browns up in about three-ish minutes, then you're set. What you're gonna do is, this good part's gonna go messy, so I'm gonna get a glove. If you don't wanna get your hands dirty, you can always make your kids do this. So you're gonna take your apple, these rounds, you're gonna take them in the batter, and you're gonna coat them until they're all kinda like coated evenly, both sides, and they're gonna look and be all messy because of the fun of it. And so, once it's all together, I'm gonna shake it out a little bit because we don't want any extra fritters laying around with no apples in it. And then you're gonna slowly drop the uh, apples into the fryer. And then you're gonna see bubbling, it's gonna make some noise. That means it's actually cooking. want a nice light golden brown color. If it's if the if the oil 
feels too thin or too sorry not hot enough it's gonna get it's gonna take long to cook to brown up and it's gonna be soggy with oily if it's too hot it's gonna burn too the burn too quickly it's gonna get dark real fast and you're gonna flip these occasionally Up to my family, they kept asking me to make them over and over again. Um, one, I think my family's lazy, and two, they just couldn't get enough of these things. Make sure not to get any oil on you. It's hot, it's gonna burn, it's gonna sting. If you happen to burn yourself, just burn your hand under cool water. Fold it out, put it on the paper towel, and once it's well, it's as soon as it's been pulled out, you want to take some of the other sugar that you had. I'm using, I mixed mine with some lemon zest, which is like the yellow stuff on the outside of your lemon that no one uses, and you're going to sprinkle it on top. You can do cinnamon sugar, lemon sugar, orange sugar, whatever you want to do. Roll it in a little bit. 